I was gonna do a cute clip, waking up, waking up in the morning. Waking up in the morning, thinking about so many things. But I figure this is the most important part, so let's just skip to it. Prepare for what could possibly be the most obnoxious sentence you've ever heard. But I've been really trying to up my coffee game lately. I got this French press in college because coffee was way too expensive to pay for. Boiling water and getting coffee grounds is much cheaper than going to a coffee shop every day, but it essentially took me about three years to learn how to make it. <laughs> because let's be honest with ourselves here, even if I own it, I still wanna do those other things. I still wanna go buy a coffee because somehow that's easier. Just on the off chance that anybody watching this works at Duncan, please come to Washington. I'm just sad at this point. I just wish things would get better. Now, you're probably wondering, Taylor, why is it almost eight in the morning? You just uploaded a 3.58 a.m. morning routine. And here's the thing, you're not wrong. But also, I wasn't lying by any means. I do often have a 3.58 a.m. morning routine. But honestly, I realized very quickly, it, it just wasn't sustainable in any way. I'm a night owl by nature, and that to me feels like the harder habit to kick than getting up early, because at the end of the day, I still want my sleep. So in an effort to maintain a little bit of rationality, I'll only get up that early, maybe once a week, twice a week, if I'm doing good, and that'll be kind of like my super productive day. And then on days like this, I'm normally stirring around 5.45, 6. And that to me is a blessing in and of itself. Oh my gosh. Truly, I really wonder if there's anything better. I don't know. At this point in my life, I really don't know. I also never, ever, ever want you to watch my videos and feel bad about yourself or compare yourself to me, compare, contrast, etc. Simply because I incorporate something into my routine that maybe you don't like to do. And that's completely okay. I used to do that detrimentally. I would compare myself to all my favorite creators and I would just make myself feel like a little grain of rice because I just felt so small and so unconfident in who I am and the way I like to live my life. But that's why it's so important for me to just be transparent with you so that you don't think I'm just this heroic woman who wakes up up at 3.58 a.m. every morning has a perfect morning routine because that's just not the truth. It's not the case. And it's really important to me to share that with you. For most of my life, I was lucky if I was out of bed before 11 a.m. Like this is a new chapter, a new leaf. We're working on it. Also, who cares if you have a good morning routine or not? As long as you get the things done in your day that you wanna get done, that's all that matters, you know? The one thing I have been pretty good about is going to the gym pretty much every morning. I just realized that if I go to the gym or if I work out at the same time every single day, that's my own little way of making it into a habit. And if I don't do that, I'm so much more likely to make up a very illegitimate excuse. So I just try and go in the morning so I forget it even happened. Every time I do this, I lose like 10 years off my face. And with that, the 12 year old was off to the gym. When I have no idea what to do, I do the only thing I know how to do, which is head over to the treadmill and do the infamous 12, 3.30 workout routine. This is something that I learned from Lauren Duraldo at I think the end of 2019. And ever since then, this workout has been so popular for such a good reason. It's pretty much foolproof. It's just a fun way of getting yourself active without having to stress out about what you're gonna do at the gym. It's a great low intensity, steady state workout. And it always pushes me. Every time I do it, I'm shocked. I always forget how stinking hard it is. But the key is go slower if you have to, but keep your incline on. And also try, try, try your hardest to not hold on to the railings of the treadmill. I know you're going to want to, but trust me, you'll get so much better of a burn if you're not holding on for dear life. Honestly, just kind of felt like leaving the gym. And sometimes that's okay too. We listen to our bodies. We do what we can with every day. I asked myself, Taylor, do you want to be at the gym? And I responded, no, I really, really don't. So instead, gonna use the old trusty hula hoop. When I tell you this thing is my literal best friend, time of my life, baby. Still here. I always wonder if I'm gonna regret filming a video when I look like this, just sweaty and gross. <laughs> Shower time! 
Shower time! Shower time! Let's have a little honesty hour while I'm trying to do my skincare. Also, just a moment of appreciation for skincare routines. Taylor, please insert pictures of 2019 Taylor versus Taylor now. I was never an advocate for skincare. I never really understood it. I felt very overwhelmed by it. And I'm not saying like I'm a Krispy Kreme donut over here, but skincare works. And that's that on that. I cleanse my face in the shower, but then I'll do another little bit of micellar water just in case. I want to talk about the importance of a well-balanced workout routine, particularly with the rise of TikTok, the trends like using a weighted hula hoop, doing a workout like 12, 3, 30, like I did today, all things that I admittedly can be very, very guilty of or am very guilty of. This is my toner from Polish Choice. I like it a lot. It has this word in it that Hiram talks about. So there we go. I think it's important to just state it how it is, give you the honest to God truth, because I try to do that in videos talking about weighted hula hoops, talking about doing a 12, 3, 30 treadmill routine every single day, weightlifting, running, walking, whatever it is. But saying it just point blank, I think is also important too. All of those things by themselves are amazing. They're fun. They're trendy for a reason. Maybe they worked for one person, it went viral, and it's all of a sudden really, really fascinating to you, so you want to try it yourself. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But I think what is important to acknowledge is that all of those exercises, all of those trends are paired with things that we don't get to see in the vlogs. We don't get to see them in a TikTok because the rest of that time is your life. It's your diet. It's your other exercise routine. It's your daily movement. It's your gardening, your vacuuming, the water you drink, the sodium you have, even just the overvalue of a good angle and good lighting. Like I know my angles. I know good lighting and I know what makes me look good and what makes me look not so good. And that's just a helpful side note reminder that Pretty much everything you see on social media is just a highlight reel, it's not reality. I became a sucker for trying out The Ordinary. I've wanted to try it for some time. This is their retinol, which I'm a huge, huge fan of. I've only started using it for, I don't know, two weeks or so. You just can't beat the price point, it's ridiculous. It's also important to note, there's nothing wrong with showing off photos of when you feel good, when you feel confident. We should be cheerleaders for one another. We should be pumping each other up like, heck yes, you look amazing strut your stuff. And I mean, you know me, I love a good challenge. I love doing things like trying out a weighted hula hoop, kind of seeing what all this hype is about. I love trying out 12, 3, 30. But most of the time, those things are always viral for a reason. I hula hoop quite literally every single day now because it is fun as heck for me. I find so much joy in it. Maybe if it has some good side effects as a result, that's a plus. Same thing when it comes to 12, 3, 30. I tried it out for myself. I ended up absolutely loving it. And now I always resort to it when I really don't know what to do when I'm at the gym. I kind of want to just hide in the corner and I want to act like nobody can see me because I'm on the treadmill in my own zone. And that's just, you know, my own self-doubt and my self-consciousness coming out. But it's the truth. That's why I love it so much. And also it's a really effective, good list workout. Low intensity steady state low intensity, steady state. And you see so many people do these workouts, you do these trends, they see such good results, and you want to have that same exact endorphinic feeling. Still working on that becoming a word. And that's perfectly okay because I want that exact same feeling. We should all want that feeling. We all want to feel good about ourselves. But I think sometimes I just get so caught up in seeing these perfect journeys from other people because that's all that we as a culture share online. But just having that constant reminder that there's so much more to the story. There's so much more to feeling strong, to gaining confidence, to knowing somebody's fitness journey that we don't get to see online. There's just so many little things that don't always get included that come into consideration when you see good results, positive benefits from doing a certain workout routine. I just wanna say your body you as a person, you are perfect as you are. No number will ever define you. And I want to say that again because it's so stinking important. I try to have this like dramatic moment and then all these cars just whoop, zoom past the street. Thanks guys. Woo! And never feel like you need to change for what you see online. Never feel like you need to compare or contrast yourself to somebody because we never know the full story. We never know the full picture. And as cheesy as it sounds, there's never gonna be anybody that is you. There's never gonna be anybody on this earth that is you. So why would you try to be somebody else? I'm like, 
oozing with Gouda right now, but just take it in. I'm waiting for my retinol to dry, but once it's finished, I have another eye retinol that I like to use. But I love, oh my God, ow, did I just get it in my eye? I love the idea of a fitness journey because I see it as me trying to better myself for the rest of my life and not just for the rest of my life but with the hopeful prosperity God willing that maybe I have grandkids one day maybe I'll get to see my great grandkids and I want to thank myself in this moment right now that I can take the proper steps to be able to live that long healthy life but at the same time none of that matters if I'm not happy in my own skin. It's never going to be satisfactory if I'm constantly chasing something that feels so unattainable. When really, right now, this is what I should be thankful for, this exact moment. When we're constantly thinking about what's coming next, it takes away from the progress that we're at right now. I think about 2020 Taylor in the middle of March, getting very, very overwhelmed with work. All of a sudden, this global pandemic hits. I get laid off. I don't really know where to turn. 2020 20 Taylor would die to be where I am right now. And of course, I don't think like that in this moment. Right now, I keep thinking, I wish I was here. I wish I was there. But one year ago, I would have been so proud of myself if I was right here. You know what I mean? Maybe you don't. <laughs> I almost forget to do the skincare. This is from SkinCeuticals. My sister gave it to me. It's called a hydrating B5 gel. It's kind of like a water-based moisturizer and I kind of like it a lot because I prefer more of that facial oil feeling than an actual lotion type on my face. Definitely I'm like going off the rails here, but it's just so important to remember that you have to take care of yourself. You have to be proud of yourself. You have to be proud of who you are in this moment. You don't need to change for anybody. And even external validation does not help internal struggles. We have to love ourselves and we have to love ourselves as we are. I can't go my whole life hating the body that I'm in because this is this incredible machine that I'm so stinking grateful for. It carries me every single day. I'm so fortunate to be in an abled body that I'm in and that's not something I take lightly. That's not something I want to take for granted. And I just want to have a little honesty hour here with you. And just remembering in this big, huge, weird ramble that you're valued, you're loved, you're perfect as you are. Don't feel like you need to change for anybody else. Don't feel like you need to jump on these wild trends that are going viral left and right. Allow me to be the guinea pig. Allow me to do the weird things for you. <laughs> I need to just kind of get off my soapbox here. <laughs> Last but not least, sunscreen, of course. I love you all so much. I'll give you like a cute little beach body going here. Cute. <laughs> I love you all so much. Thank you for watching. I'm, I'm proud of you and I love you and I'm always here for you. Please never feel like you are bothering me. Just message me on Instagram, message me on TikTok. I just learned I can message better on there. I didn't, I'm, whatever. Subscribe down below if you want. Give this video a big thumbs up. It means the absolute world to me that you're even watching. So I'm just grateful to have you here. I love you all and I'll see you in the next one.